Hey everyone, today we are going to show you how to remove stuck shed from a snake. The inspiration for this video was when yesterday Ed and I picked up a rescued bull snake and this was, we were told, a female albino bull snake, but <laughs> take, take a look at what it actually ended up being. Here we are. As you can see, this is not an albino. You can tell because the eyes are not red, they are black. This is instead a hypomutation bull snake. And with this length of a tail and how thick it is right at the base before it tapers off, this has got to be a male. We have not probed it, but we will just so we know for sure. But I am 99% positive that this is a boy. So regardless, even though we might not be keeping it since it was a little different than what we thought it was, we're at least going to help it out and get this stuck shed off of him. This little guy not only has stuck shed on his back, but also on his face and his eye caps are stuck. So we're going to work to get all of that off today. So he'll be feeling much better when we're through with him. The easiest way to remove stuck shed from a snake is to just give them a bath first. And you want the bath water to be just deep enough to cover their body, plus maybe a little half inch more than that. And what's very important about the bath is that the bath water should be about 80 to 85 degrees. What's it showing on there? 84. Perfect. We like to try to get it closer to 85 instead of 80 because then as the snake is taking the bath and the water cools down over time, it doesn't get too cold for the snake and it still stays within that uh, acceptable range. But another thing you can do is you can take a, an ordinary pillowcase and dunk it into the bath water that's around 85 degrees and put the snake in the pillowcase and tie it off, let them sit for about 20 minutes instead of in an actual bath. Uh, the only problem with using a pillowcase is that these cool off very quickly so you have to continuously add warm water to it and kind of dump warm water on the pillowcase itself every five minutes or so to make sure it stays warm. Whereas in a bath you can just leave the snake in there the whole time and then come back and he should be good to go. The nice thing about using a pillowcase is as they're moving around inside of their sauna treatment inside of this thing, uh, they usually rub the skin off themselves during the 20 minute period that they're inside, whereas inside of a bath you have to physically remove it yourself afterwards. But just so he stays warmer, I am going to stick him in this bath. We're going to use the bath method, although either one will work. Uh, each one just kind of has its quirks. We're going to cover him up and just let him sit for 20 minutes. If you're giving a snake a bath just for rehydration purposes or to clean them off from poop, then it's a good idea to give them maybe a brick in the middle for them to kind of sit on to uh, take a break from the water. But when you're dealing with stuck shed, you really want their whole body to be submerged for the majority, if not the entire time they're in here. So that's why we didn't give him something in the middle to sit on because I really want him to soak this skin the entire time. Well, it's been about 20 minutes, so let's see what he looks like. Oh, I can actually already see that there's some shed pieces that came off all on their own and are just kind of floating around in the water. So that's a great sign. And the rest of that stuck shed should be plenty soft by now. At this point, you can just take any extra pieces that are dangling down and slowly peel them off. This does not hurt the snake in any way. It actually probably feels good to them, to be honest. And for all these other little pieces that are going to be harder to just grab with my fingers, you just take a wash rag and simply dip it into the water of the bath. Then you gently wipe it down the snake where the stuck shed is at, and it grabs that shed and peels it right off. Since that stuck shed has been soaking for a while, it's really softened, and that's what makes it come off so easily now. So I'm simply going to take this rag down the entirety of the snake's back, because that's where all the stuck shed is, and I'm just going to, little by little, wipe it all away. The rag just seems to do a better job at catching all of it, and it will kind of make a little bit of a mess, so you just have to accept the fact. But the important thing is that you get that shed skin off of the snake. When it's broken up like this, it'll take a little bit longer than if it was still in one intact piece and could all come off in one piece, but that's okay. The rag is easy enough and it does a good job at peeling away that shed that it doesn't take terribly long. There we are. He's like a brand new snake. You're so much brighter, dude. 
except for the head. We still have to remove the stuck shed here, and this can be the tricky part because some snakes are more lenient at this than others. He actually seems to be pretty tolerant of handling. He's got a little spot of uh, scale rot actually under his chin now that I look at him. Anyway, I'm going to take my finger and try to catch the edge of the shed skin on his lip because that's where it naturally would start peeling back anyway, but I can't really get that, so instead I'm gonna work backwards. Removing the shed backwards is kind of my plan B, and I only use this technique when I'm removing stuck shed from their head, nowhere else on the body. But sometimes you have to do it. And you just simply take it with your fingers after they're soaked and you peel it off. Again, this does not hurt the snake. And the tough part though is getting that eye cap off. So hopefully, oh, I'm so close. Hopefully I can get this shed skin off and it can peel the eye cap along with it. Um. Oh, that was so close! And, oh man, I'm really close. Hang on. Let's see if I can get this peeled off here. He's being a really good sport about it. Yeah. Oh, there we go! Perfect! Awesome! Eye cap is off! And, yep, that's just the skin around his eye. As you can see, the skin came right off after the bath because it was soaked and it was a lot uh, softer. So, really all you need to do if you have a snake with stuck shed is to put him in a bath, let him sit for about 15-20 minutes and then take a damp wash rag and just wipe it right off. If you have stuck eye caps on your snake, then you can do a different technique if that's the only thing that's stuck because it's hard to just peel off an eye cap on with, with a rag. Uh, you can, after the bath, take, this is a little breeder trick, take a piece of masking tape and place it on the eye cap of the snake and kind of massage it into place. And then when you peel back the tape, it'll usually catch the eye cap and peel that off along with it. This doesn't work every time, but it works enough so that it's worth a try if you have a stuck eye cap. But you have to make sure that the eye cap is, in fact, stuck on the snake before you try that technique because you don't want to be putting masking tape on a snake's eye that doesn't have extra skin that's meant to come off. So snakes will sometimes have crinkly looking eyes, which can mean stuck eye caps, or it can mean that they're just dehydrated. So again, make sure you know for, for sure that the snake has a stuck eye cap before you try that technique. But for everything else, you can usually just use the, use the bath and the rag and get all that stuck shed right off. So hopefully if this happens to you, you know what to do, and then you'll correct whatever was wrong in the enclosure so that you can prevent the stuck shed from happening next time. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video, and we'll see you next week.